We at Quantum Design would like to briefly highlight some of the latest developments and offerings from the past year. Please make sure to stop by our virtual booth at the upcoming APS March meeting, Intermag, and MRS conferences. If you would like to always stay abreast of developments at Quantum Design, make sure you sign up for our newsletter by clicking the link at the bottom of our main webpage. Feel free to also follow us on Twitter and check out our YouTube channel. We have been busy uploading a lot of new content to our YouTube channel. Some of the most recent additions include instructional application webinars related to thermal transport, AC susceptibility, and ferromagnetic resonance, as well as content related to our diverse array of distribution products. The latest results using OptiCool, our 7 Tesla magneto optical cryostat from the research groups of Professors Richard Averett and Nathan Stern have also been added to the channel. On July 10th, we celebrated the second annual Helium Conservation Day which not only commemorates the anniversary of when helium was first liquefied, but also highlights the need to conserve a truly scarce resource. Feel free to check out the related videos as well. On the topic of helium conservation, we have long been proponents of helium recycling and offer solutions for large and small scale research laboratory cryostats, NMR facilities, and medical applications, including MEGs and MRIs. In late 2020, we announced our next generation helium purification and liquefaction product line. In addition to the 160 liter capacity doer you may be familiar with, we now offer 250 liter capacity doers for those needing larger single transfers. The footprint of the liquefiers and purifiers have been further streamlined. Improved liquefaction rates at 1 psi mean that helium is always available when you need it without having to wait for the liquefier to depressurize. In addition, the software and user interface has also been updated to improve the overall user experience. Initially launched at the APS March meeting a couple of years ago, Optical is our latest cryogen-free platform and is primarily intended for measurements that require optical access at temperatures as low as 1.7 Kelvin and magnetic fields up to 7 Tesla. In addition to the ample optical access, a large sample volume enables a wide range of capabilities and experiments in a low vibration environment. Those of you familiar with the PPMS product line are in no doubt familiar with the sample puck. Optical utilizes an easily customizable sample pod which can accommodate up to 80 DC wires, 3D nano positioners, and commonly used coaxial connections for experiments requiring high frequencies. Experiments requiring high magnification typically necessitate small working distances between the objective lens and sample. The standard optical top window allows for a minimum working distance of about 15 millimeters. The low working distance capability reduces this to about 3 millimeters. In situations in which the base temperature does not need to be reached, the shield window can be removed and a working distance of about 1 millimeter can be achieved. In conjunction with the low working distance option, the flared window clamp allows one to integrate objectives using industry standard SM3 threads. 2020 also marked the first publication using Optical, a comprehensive study of gadolinium titanate using ultrafast optical pump probe reflectivity and MOC. Here's a partial list of talks at this year's APS meeting using Optical. Continuing with custom measurements, for the PPMS product line, which of course includes the cryogen-free VersaLab and DynaQuil platforms, we offer a suite of customizable multifunction probes to enable a wide range of unique capabilities. For example, the photoconductivity variant brings optical fibers in close proximity to the sample stage. The cryofmr variant, which will be shown later, includes two cryocoax lines intended for ferromagnetic resonance measurements up to 40 GHz. As of late, the most common customer request has been for us to more easily enable the ability to use removable chip carriers and also increase the number of measurement channels. For example, the new type G variant, which is a modified type B MFP, takes advantage of a 16-pin dual inline package chip carrier. For an even larger number of measurement channels, the type M variant can use both a 20-pin removable leadless chip carrier and socket combo, as well as our 48-pin chip carrier assembly. 
Lakeshore Cryotronics M91 Fast Haul Controller brings a new level of speed and automation to the measurement of a sample's resistivity and haul coefficient. Algorithms in the M91 intelligently select excitation and measurement parameters, as well as monitor contact quality during a measurement. Raw data is processed to return derived parameters of interest to the user, such as sheet resistance and carrier mobility, which are plotted by the MeasureLink software. The innovative fast haul technique eliminates the need for physically reversing the direction of the magnetic field, saving researchers time and resources. The same technology extends the range of measurable mobility. Details of the measurement process are relayed by the intuitive touchscreen user interface on an adjustable screen. New for 2021, Quantum Design is excited to announce a new collaboration with Lakeshore. As a result, users with access to any member of the PPMS family of instruments, such as the Dynacool shown here, can now integrate the M91 into their measurement workflow using a small piece of additional hardware. This brings the convenience, speed, and automation of the M91 and allows users to leverage those capabilities within the variable temperature and field environment of the Quantum Design PPMS. Seamless integration between MeasureLink and MultiView make data collection straightforward to configure, with results available to view in real time. A set of representative data is included here for a gallium arsenide quantum well sample installed in a PPMS and collected using the M91 instrument. At 2 Kelvin, this 2D electron gas system exhibits characteristic plateaus in its transverse resistance which we have of course normalized by the von Klitzen constant and are associated with the integer quantum Hall effect. The corresponding peaks in the longitudinal sheet resistivity occurring across the transitions between Landau levels can also be observed. Nanos provides the electronics and hardware necessary to enable broadband ferromagnetic resonance measurements. In conjunction with the cryo-FMR probe mentioned earlier, such broadband FMR measurements up to 40 GHz are possible within the entire PPMS product line. The latest electronics available from Nanos have increased the measurement bandwidth up to 60 GHz for room temperature measurements. Changing gears to the world of microscopy. The ability to combine and correlate complementary microscopy techniques is critical for materials research. In late 2020, we announced the AFSIM Nano, which allows the experimenter the ability to seamlessly combine and correlate AFM and SEM analyses. The AFSEM Nano is the world's smallest AFM insert and is compatible with many of the most popular SEM, focused ion beam, and helium ion microscope models available. Furthermore, the AFSEM Nano utilizes a wide range of AFM modes, including conductive and magnetic force microscopy. Our new laser-based floating zone furnace enables the growth of materials not possible by other floating zone methods. For example, materials that melt within a narrow temperature range exhibit incongruent melting, have a high vapor pressure or high thermal conductivity, such as metallic compounds. The furnace, which employs five lasers, not only promotes high uniformity of the power density in the float zone region, but also open access. Furthermore, the system has been optimized for automated and intuitive operation. The float zone temperature range is 400 to 2750 degrees Celsius and 150 millimeter long crystals can be grown with diameters in excess of 10 millimeters. Finally, here are a few examples of crystals grown using this furnace. Apart from the well-known lineup of cryomagnetic measurement systems offered by Quantum Design that you are all familiar with, we also offer a wide variety of tools through our diverse array of distribution partners. While many of these are magnetic in origin, including MOC, magnetic nanoparticle characterization using ACES susceptibility and magnetic hyperthermia, and even NMR, we also sell a wide variety of direct write lithography systems for device fabrication. We will now highlight the latest developments in some of our other distribution products. Kiutra, a spin-off company from the Technical University of Munich, offers the world's first commercial continuous cooling system based on adiabatic demagnetization. This technology allows completely helium-free cooling in the sub-Kelvin range, thus removing the need for liquid cryogens. Consequently, these systems are extremely easy to use and maintain, enabling fundamental science and materials research, as well as quantum applications on an industrial scale. Optional optical access further enables cutting-edge detector applications. Two product lines are available, and both take advantage of continuous and single-shot modes with the indicated base temperatures. The S-Series is optimized for customers that need a large sample volume. 
Recently, the S-Series optical cryostat was announced, which enables three-axis free beam access to the sample environment. The L-Series, which can interconnect up to four ADRs, enables a lower base temperature as well as several add-ons, including an automatic sample chamber with load lock to change samples within minutes, and a five Tesla sample magnet. We also distribute tools for the burgeoning field of quantum optics and applied applications in quantum information and communication technologies. Single Quantum develops and manufactures state-of-the-art superconducting nanowire single photon detectors, so-called SNSPDs, with the lowest timing jitters on the market. Construction is based on a closed cycle cryostat providing continuous operation for more than 10,000 hours. Detection efficiency is in excess of 90% with a timing jitter of less than 15 picoseconds are achievable with low dark counts and dead times. The resulting single photon events must subsequently be analyzed and processed using time tagging electronics. Qtools develops and manufactures high speed time correlated single photon counting systems. These time taggers are available with a wide range of timing resolutions and available channels. The system includes software for Windows and Linux with an easy to use graphical user interface as well as the necessary software tools for LabVIEW and Python integration. Some of the latest offerings from these manufacturers include improved photon number resolution using single pixel, high count rates in excess of 80 MHz, and multi-mode fiber coupling. Qtools has further improved timing jitter values. Additionally, multiple units can now be connected and synchronized together for a truly modular approach, thus increasing the total number of channels to 360. Quantum Design also offers solutions for bio and soft matter physics. The optical tweezers from Aresis, a company out of Slovenia, are well established in these research communities. The video demonstrates a live measurement of cell elasticity, where the force versus displacement curve shows the strength of cell adhesion to the microbead as it is pushed and retracted from the cell wall. Forces on the order of piconewtons. The tweeze instruments use acousto-optic deflectors to obtain high trap-to-trap -trap switch rates while ensuring critically important trap attributes, including field uniformity, trap stability, trap accuracy, and ghost trap elimination. This easy-to-use system comes with user-friendly software and fits into standard Nikon microscopes for ease of use. The system currently utilizes a camera-based force measurement, but quadrant photodiode detection will be soon available. The robustness, accuracy, and speed of Aresis's acousto-optic deflector-based technology has now been adapted for use in the field of cold atoms. This brand new Aresis offering, the Cold Atom Laser Manipulator, is the first turnkey optical tweezer system intended for cold atom trapping and manipulation. Furthermore, it is easily integrated into existing and new cold atom setups. This video demonstrates the first cold atom laser manipulator system implemented in a laboratory showing the computer-guided split and manipulation of seven cold atom clouds, each at one microkelvin. The Onyx system from Das Nano, which was developed jointly with the Fraunhofer Institute, utilizes a scanning terahertz wave emitter and receptor, which measures the reflectometry in the time domain. From this data, wafer-scale, non-destructive electrical characterization of graphene, thin films, and other 2D materials can be performed. Compared to other large area methods, the Onyx system does not require any specialized sample preparation and is incredibly fast. We will now wrap up with some of our products explicitly geared towards physics education at both the undergraduate and graduate levels. Whereas the first quantum revolution of the early 20th century defined the rules that govern quantum mechanics, the second quantum revolution we are now in aims to use these rules to develop new technologies. It is therefore paramount to ensure that the current and next generations of physicists and engineers are adequately trained in both fundamental and advanced quantum science. Since 2006, Qtools has made a name for itself in the area of quantum physics education kits. The QED, with over 100 units sold worldwide, is an easy-to-use tabletop system that can demonstrate a wide range of complex quantum phenomena, from the wave-particle duality to quantum cryptography. The QED includes an entangled photon source, single photon detectors, counting electronics, and a display unit to violate Bell's inequality and demonstrate spooky action at a distance. Several add-ons can also be easily integrated with the base QED system to demonstrate a plethora of quantum phenomena. 
the Quantum Coffer, or Quantum Suitcase in English, is an ultra-compact plug-and-play quantum science kit that also utilizes single and entangled photon pairs for a wide variety of experiments. The source and detectors are under a position-sensitive breadboard. Students freely place fully functional tokens with integrated and motorized optical components that allow one to set up and manipulate the beam path on the fly and in a more exploratory manner than the aforementioned QED. Whereas the QED and quantum coffer are focused primarily on topics in quantum information science, the recently launched QNV demonstrates quantum sensing with diamond nitrogen vacancy centers. The included excitation source, microwave sweep field, photo detector, control, and display units encompass everything needed to demonstrate quantum sensing based on optically detected magnetic resonance. There are dozens of experiments one can conduct with the QED, quantum coffer, and QNV. We should also mention that a fully motorized version of the QED system enables web-based remote course offerings in quantum science. Demonstrations of the various quantum education kits can be found both on the Quantum Design and recently launched QTools YouTube channels. We would like to bring your attention to two exhibitor workshops at APS. On Tuesday at 9 a.m. we will present a bit more about our instruments for researching quantum materials and advancing quantum technology. And on Wednesday at 2 p.m. we'll highlight what is new at Quantum Design. And application scientists Randy Dumas and Tom Hogan will be available to answer any of your questions related to Quantum Design's technologies. In the meantime, if you have any further questions, do not hesitate to reach out. If you have questions related to pricing, lead times, etc., then please forward your request to our sales department. If you have questions related to hardware repairs or installations, this request is best sent to our service department. And finally, any questions related to measurements, sample preparation, or research should be sent to our applications department. Thank you very much for your attention.